Downtown parking is becoming a hot topic. It's because plans to build two parking garages, which would support the convention center, have changed. Yes, yeah, so this morning, the Vigo County Capital Improvement Board faced some pushback. It now wants to create a parking lot in place of one of those garages. Taylor Johnson joins us now live in downtown Terre Haute with more on this story. Taylor. Mike, I'm at the Vigo County School Corporation Administration Building, which could be a possible location for that parking lot. Now, county officials say that if they go this route, that it will save them a lot of money. But one city official is not sure if he agrees with the idea. Parking plans at the new convention center in downtown Terre Haute was the main point of discussion at Wednesday's Vigo County Capital Improvement Board meeting. The board planned to build two parking garages, with one being used for the Hilton Garden in the hotel. But that plan changed. Because of the small footprint of the proposed site and a number of other factors, the cost per parking space to build that structure is much higher than the cost per space of the larger structure are being built in regard to the convention center. The original cost was expected to be 4.5 million, but the price tag raised to 8 million. Their proposed solution is creating a parking lot a couple blocks down. It's our understanding that uh, perhaps the school corporation's headquarters building uh, property site may become uh, available in the future. Uh, that's a, something that the Capital Improvement Board is interested in exploring. But the plan is met with opposition. We were sold stacked parking for the new hotel and the Hilton Garden Inn and the new, and, and the new convention center. And now they're looking at other options that would include an expansion of surface parking on Wabash Avenue, and I think that's unacceptable. Last week, Nation filed an ordinance that would block developers from building large front-facing parking lots in the downtown area. We should be trying to figure out how to do this project between 7th and 9th Streets from Wabash to Cherry where they've always said they want to do it. We don't know if the school corporation wants to sell their property, uh, and we don't know if they do want to sell it, whether what the price would be. So it's, it's all just um, speculation and, and informal discussion right now. Now, Steve Witt says that if the plan doesn't work out for them to put a parking lot here at the administration building property, then they do have a short-term solution of having a concierge service for the convention center. Taylor, we've been following this story for quite a, quite a while. What can we expect as the project continues? So now at this point, they're looking at operators. So they're going to start submitting their proposals at the beginning of February, and we should expect for them to choose one by the end of February. Mike? All right, thank you, Taylor, for that report. Check out this story on our website. Once there, you will also find links to our continuous coverage from the cost of the convention center to design modifications. Again, it's all on our website. That's mywabashvalley.com.